Chapter 20 Back at the Jaguar Club Shanghai, I found myself pacing back and forth, trying to find a way to keep my idea alive. I didn't want to give up, not after all the hard work I had put into it. And then an idea struck me. If I couldn't sell coffee directly in the showroom, why not change course and sell these precious Espresso Nation coffee beans directly door-to-door -to, -door to restaurants and other venues. The concept became clear in my head like a missing puzzle piece. I mean, there was so much potential in this unexplored market, and I could see a real opportunity to educate people about the hidden gem that is Chinese coffee. So I decided to put the plan into action and focus on a different part of the coffee world. I was determined to make it work, no matter what the cost. I found myself working like crazy to find the perfect plan to sell these incredible Chinese coffee beans, investing a lot of time in researching potential customers, trying to figure out how to make a killer presentation that truly showcased the unique features and benefits of my product. I examined all types of Yunnan coffee beans, making sure to only choose the best to represent my brand. And then, with samples in hand and determination in my heart, I set out to visit restaurants, cafes and hotels all over Shanghai. Every time I met an owner or manager, I could feel my passion for Chinese coffee overflowing from me. I prepared espressos and other coffee drinks right in front of them, showing off the rich flavours and smooth profiles of the carefully selected beans. And, let me tell you, they were impressed. You know it's strange how things can start to turn around when you least expect it. I mean, I really put my all into it, showing these customers the incredible quality of my coffee. And somehow it worked. They were intrigued by the idea of offering something different to their customers and could see that my product was real. I began to win them over one by one. Before I knew it, word of mouth was spreading like wildfire and my little business was gaining momentum. I was the coffee guy and I had no intention of letting anything stop me.